Uh, there's a concept in uh, human behavior called thin slicing. And that's where you take a little tiny bit of information and you use that to extrapolate or, or make a decision as if, as if you had all the information. It's called thin slicing. You, you find out one little thing about something and that will tell you everything you need to know uh, about that person, that subject, that situation, that investment, uh, whatever it is. And for math, uh, I have found that you can really do a thin slice on a student and find out if they're good at math or bad at math or if they're struggling or if they're talented and have potential. And you can do that with long division. Uh, long division will tell you everything you need to know about that student. It'll tell you if they're good at arithmetic. They'll tell you if it's good with, uh, the, you know, simple adding and subtracting. It'll tell you if they're good with uh, the more complicated, um, you know, multiplication and division. It will tell you if they know how to follow procedures, if they follow the concept. If you can uh, do that, then you know exactly what you need to do to help the student get better. If they do the long division in a snap, well then you got nothing to worry about, okay? Any, any further advanced concepts, whether it's pre-algebra, algebra, calculus, trigonometry, uh, differential equations, whatever it is, uh, the kids shouldn't have too much trouble with it because they have the basics down pat. If they struggle with long division or division of any kind, then you, you know you got some work to do. And, and while, you know, you, you shouldn't feel bad, or certainly the kids shouldn't feel, feel bad because they can't do long division. Uh, it, it's something you can work on and improve. And by doing that, you kill a lot of birds with one stone. Uh, you help them get good at arithmetic. You help them get good at handling advanced concepts. And you, you uh, develop their confidence so that they know they can tackle anything they put their mind to. All right, so my name's Brad, and I help kids get better at algebra. I've written a book uh, to help parents uh, teach their kids how to get better at algebra. And it, it's called Creating a Math Monster, and I have the link to it in the description. So please check it out. It's on lulu.com, right, and I have a paperback version and an ebook version. So if you like to get it in one format or another, you can do it. Uh, the cost is about the price of a half hour with a decent tutor. All right. Uh, if you're a parent, I think it's a bargain because it's you'll learn how to spend quality time with your kid. All right. Uh, what, what could be better than, than passing on something uh, that they can use again and again for the next few years of their life? I mean, uh, you know, you, you may not be the best mechanic. You may not be the best athlete, the best musician, the best uh, whatever. But for just a few moments in time, you can spend some really, really good quality uh, moments with your kid and help them develop a skill uh, that you can use for their lifetime. How much do you use math in the real world? Not that much. But how much do you need to have confidence? How much do you need to have the ability to solve a problem? How much do you need to know uh, to know what you don't know? That's what math does. And by teaching them that skill, you prepare them for the future. All right, well, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more episodes of How to Create a Math Monster and check out my book at lulu.com.